Hello students. Today we are going to see the four factor formula, and that formula is very important, and it also called as a reproduction factor. That is, k can be calculated by using this four factor formula. It is useful for the nuclear reactors to find out the loss of neutrons. So the four factor formula again it is called as the infinite multiplication factor. and the infinite multiplication factor is the ratio of the neutrons which are produced by the fission in one neutron generation to the number of neutrons which are lost through the absorption in the preceding neutron generation the infinite multiplication factor k infinity may be expressed mathematically in terms of this factors by the following equation and this equation is known as a four factor formula this is the equation k infinity is equal to eta into epsilon into p into f so what are these terms which are included in the reproduction factor or the four factor formula is so we are going to see that in detail in today's lecture so we have to derive this equation so firstly we have to find out the average number of fission neutrons so this is v so average number of neutrons thrown out in each act of the fission by the thermal neutrons these are given by v so this is a v and this number is 2.44 for the uranium 235 and v is equal to 2.5 for the natural uranium or the uranium 238 as we know the abundance of the uranium 235 is very less and it is used as a nuclear fuel and uranium 235 it undergoes the fission reaction by the thermal neutrons so this v should be same as for uranium 235 now we will see the second step that is a fast fission process or it will be called as a fast fission factor and that is given by this epsilon so the fast fission process is in the multiplication factor that will be characterized by the fast fission factor epsilon which increases the fast neutron population when in one neutron generation and the fast fission factor is defined as the it is the ratio of the fast neutrons which are produced by the fission at all energies to the number of fast neutrons produced in the thermal fission so simply fast fission factor is a ratio of the neutrons fast neutrons divided by the neutrons which are produced by the thermal fission so this is the epsilon and we have to just multiply each term in the equation of the four factor formula so v into epsilon that will be the neutrons here now we will see the third step fast neutron loss factor that is lf so loss of a fraction lf of the fast neutron which neither meet the natural uranium or that cannot be interact with the moderate material but they will leak out throughout the reactor so here the lf number of neutrons will be lost so remaining neutrons will be how much so as we have initially suppose one number of neutrons is there and out of that lf neutrons will be lost so remaining neutrons will be 1 minus lf so v into epsilon in bracket 1 minus lf this e is epsilon so keep in mind v into epsilon in bracket 1 minus lf here this 1 minus lf is the remaining neutrons after the loss of the fast neutrons now we will see the next step this is a resonance capture loss it is 1 minus p and the resonance escape probability is p so in the resonance escape probability the symbol is given p 
and it is a probability that the neutron will be slow to the thermal energy and will escape resonance capture and this probability that is defined as it is a ratio of the number of neutrons that reach the thermal energies to the number of fast neutrons that start to slow down so as we know the fast neutrons are of higher energy and the thermal neutrons are of the lower energy so simply here the probability is a ratio of the number of neutrons which reach the thermal energies divided by the number of fast neutrons that start to slow down so moderator material convert the fast neutrons into the thermal neutrons so we have to find out the ratio this is a probability so the neutron pass through all the intermediate energies and in this process neutrons of specific energies that are called as the resonance energies so here the equation initially we have equation this much v into epsilon in bracket 1 minus lf now we have the new term which we have to multiply here this is p that is a resonance escape probability and the number of neutrons which are lost by the resonance capture this neutrons are 1 minus p so this much number of neutrons are lost so just we have to add this uh, p term here because it is of a resonance escape probability so just i have written this equation here and we have to multiply the next term to this equation only so the next step is the thermal neutron loss factor so as we know the neutrons that can be lost through the reactor uh, through the moderator material through the coolant or with the interactions so neutrons leaks through the reactor and that can be given by lt l represent the loss and t for the thermal neutrons here so this leaves behind in the reactor a total number of thermal neutrons are so as a lt number of neutrons will be lost initially we have one neutron so one minus lt will be remaining thermal neutrons in the system so just multiply this here so v into epsilon in bracket 1 minus lf bracket complete into p into 1 minus lt so this is the equation now we have to see the next term which we have to multiply in this equation and this term is a thermal utilization factor that is a f so the thermal utilization factor f is the fraction of the thermal neutrons that are absorbed in the nuclear fuel so simply when there is uranium 235 it will capture the neutron and that neutron will be thermal neutron so simply the neutron will be absorbed by the nuclear fuel so in all isotopes of the nuclear fuel they will absorb the neutron so it describes how effectively thermal neutrons absorbed in the fuel and the value of the thermal utilization factor that is given by a ratio and this is a ratio of the number of thermal neutrons that are absorbed by the fuel divided by the number of thermal neutrons absorbed in all the materials that make up of the score core so just a ratio of the thermal neutron which are absorbed by the fuel that is uranium 235 divided by the thermal neutron which are absorbed by the remaining material or the core so here is a f now we have to just add the f value in this equation so just multiplication factor is there or formula is a multiplication formula so we are multiplying the new term each time so now we have the thermal utilization factor f is here so just multiply this equation by f so our remaining equation is here the loss factor due to this so f number of the neutrons will be utilized so the loss of neutron is 1 minus f so here the loss factor due to this materials it's given by 1 minus lf the thermal utilization factor f of the total available uh, neutrons or the thermal neutrons for interaction with uranium 235 that is given here just we have to multiply here the thermal utilization factor f 
So I have written this equation V into epsilon in bracket 1 minus LF into P in a bracket 1 minus LT into F. Now next term is a relative fission cross section. The relative fission cross section is equal to sigma EF divided by sigma EF plus sigma R. Now this sigma EF R the or the sigma R here two terms are included and the that terms are the cross sections or the fission cross sections. So, net number of thermal neutrons react with the uranium 235 in two alternative ways. First is a leading to fission with a cross section sigma f and leading to radiative capture and the alpha decay with a cross section sigma r. So, for the uranium 235, the sigma F value is given which is equal to 4.18 bands. So, this B represents the bands and the sigma R or the radiative capture cross section which is equal to 3.5 bands. So, this ratio of the relative fission cross section sigma F divided by sigma F plus sigma R after putting this values in the equation we we will get the value 0 0.544 for the uranium 235. Thus, the number of fissions in the uranium 235 in the natural uranium in the second generation to be. Now, as we have the equation V into epsilon in bracket 1 minus LF into P in bracket 1 minus LT into F. So, just we have to add this term. So, just multiply this term here. So, you will get the number of fissions in the uranium 235 in a natural uranium in the second generation that are V into epsilon in bracket 1 minus LF bracket complete into P into 1 minus LT bracket complete into F into sigma F upon sigma F plus sigma R. So, this whole multiplication that can be equal to K. So, K is a reproduction factor. So, we will find out the value of K and we have to convert this equation into the 4 factor. Means what? The K value will consist of only 4 terms. So, we have to reduce this formula. Now, the reproduction factor this is the again new term so the number of neutrons created in the new generation is determined by using the neutron reproduction factor and the reproduction factor that can be denoted by eta so eta is defined as the ratio of the number of fast neutrons that are produced by the thermal fission to the number of thermal neutrons absorbed in the fuel or you can directly write instead of this sigma f divided by sigma f plus sigma r is equal to eta. So, we have to derive the Fermi's four factor formula. So, k is equal to just I have written this equation again. So, just take the single term common as a V epsilon P F then into 1 minus L F into 1 minus L T and into this. So, I have written this here K is equal to V into sigma F divided by sigma F plus sigma R into epsilon P F into 1 minus L F into 1 minus L T. So, here sigma f divided by sigma f plus sigma r that will be given by eta that is a reproduction factor. So, the eta is a number of fast neutrons per thermal neutron used up or it is a ratio. So, after putting the value of the eta k is equal to eta into epsilon into p into f in a bracket this is 1 minus LF into 1 minus LT. F for the fast fission neutron loss and LT for the thermal neutron loss. So, when the fast fission uh, neutron loss or the 
thermal neutron loss is very less so we have to neglect these terms now the remaining equation will be only k is equal to eta epsilon pf so for a reactor of dimensions greater than a critical one the loss of thermal as well as fast neutrons is nearly zero means when the reactor height is much higher or the dimension of the reactor is much greater then the loss of thermal as well as fast neutron is negligible it is nearly equal to zero that's why we can write lf is equal to zero and lt is equal to zero so equation will become only k is equal to eta epsilon into pf and this equation is known as a four factor formula or the reproduction factor formula